The ISLM model, or Hicks-Hansen model, is a macroeconomic tool that demonstrates the relationship between interest rates and real output, in the goods and services market and the money market, also known as the assets market. The intersection of the investment saving, IS, and liquidity preference money supply, LM, curves is the general equilibrium where there is simultaneous equilibrium in both markets. The goods and the money market equilibrium. Equilibrium of the goods market is achieved when the goods market is cleared, that is, according to Keynes, planned saving is equal to planned investment. Equilibrium of the money market requires equality between the supply and the demand for money. In developing the IS model, investment is considered as a function of rate of interest. Consumption and saving as functions of income. Equilibrium in the goods market is achieved when, savings are equal to investment. At all points on IS curve, goods market is in equilibrium. IS curve is a plot of equilibrium output for various interest rates within the market for goods and services. ZZ is aggregate demand curve and the 45 degree line is AS curve. No two characteristics of ZZ. Because it's assumed that the consumption and investment relations are linear, ZZ is, in general, a curve rather than a line. ZZ is drawn flatter than a 45 degree line because it's assumed that an increase in output leads to a less than 1 for 1 increase in demand. Now let's derive IS curve. Look at the two figures, it shows that IS curve is derived by joining equilibrium points of goods market. Upper part shows an increase in the interest rate decreases the demand for goods at any level of output, leading to a decrease in the equilibrium level of output. Equilibrium in the goods market implies that an increase in the interest rate leads to a decrease in output, this is why IS curve is downward sloping. Let's look at some properties of IS curve. First it is downward sloping as interest increases investment decreases and thus, output decreases. Increase slash decrease in autonomous expenditure will shift the IS curve rightward slash leftward accordingly. The steepness or flatness of the IS curve describes the elasticity or responsiveness of C and I to the nominal interest rate. Steep IS curve, inelastic. Flat IS curve, elastic. Shifts in IS curve due to taxes. An increase in taxes shifts the IS curve to the left. Similarly a decrease in taxes will shift IS curve to right. Equilibrium in the money market. Money market equilibrium is achieved when the supply of money and demand for money are equal. Money demand is made of two parts. MSP, speculative demand for money. MT, transactionary demand for money. MD equals MSP plus MT. LM curve, depicts equilibrium in the money market, L equals M as well as the bond market, 
by Walras Law. A plot of the equilibrium interest rate for various levels of output or income, within the money market for a given level of the nominal money supply. How LM curve is derived An increase in income leads, to an increase in the demand for money, at a given interest rate, given the money supply, this increase in the demand for money leads to an increase in the equilibrium interest rate. Equilibrium in the financial markets implies that an increase in income leads to an increase in the interest rate. The LM curve is therefore upward sloping. The figures shows that LM curve is derived by joining equilibrium points of the money market, thus we can say, that, the LM curve is locus of points where money market is in equilibrium. Now, let's have a look at some properties of LM curves. It is upward sloping as seen earlier, increase in income leads to increase in interest rate. Increase slash decrease in the real money supply shift the LM curve rightward slash leftward accordingly. The steepness or flatness of the LM curve describes the elasticity or responsiveness of money demand, L, to the nominal interest rate. Steep LM curve, inelastic. Flat LM curve, elastic. Shifts in LM curve due to change in money supply. The figure shows, an increase in money causes the LM curve to shift down. Now, let's look at equilibrium in both goods, and money market together. The intersection point of the IS and LM curve denotes the equilibrium point between the two markets. There is only one combination of Y and R at which both the goods market and the money market are in equilibrium simultaneously. Fiscal and Monetary Policies Fiscal contraction, refers to fiscal policy that reduces the budget deficit. Policy that increase the deficit is called a fiscal expansion. Taxes affect the IS curve, not the LM curve. Monetary contraction, refers to a decrease in the money supply. An increase in the money supply is called monetary expansion. Monetary policy does not affect the IS curve, only the LM curve. For example, an increase in the money supply shifts the LM curve down. The table shows effects of fiscal and monetary policy, on IS curve, LM curve, output, interest rates.
Let's revise. IS curve represents the equilibrium of the goods market. LM curve represents the equilibrium of the money market. The point of intersection of the two curves is the point of equilibrium of both the markets simultaneously. Hope your doubts are clear, feel free to ask questions in the comments. Also please do like and share the video also hit the subscribe button to stay updated with new videos. Thank you.